come with you today to show you how to roast pound to pound and a half of green coffee beans in your Be More Gourmet Coffee Roaster. And it's so awesome. It's coffee that you've never experienced before. It's worth it. This is the Be More 1600 Plus. It's got a catalytic converter in it to minimize smoke. Works fairly good, but it still gets smoky. So I'd admit, I would recommend you either blow a fan over top of it out the window or do it outside in your garage or the back patio. First step, measure a pound of beans, green beans. I'll put a link below, but I get my green beans from sweetmarias.com. And there's a big variety to choose from, ranging from approximately $6 a pound to $9 a pound. They have it all. So it's very important that when you put it in that you make sure that it the gears hit that piece and then that you're on the, the guide right here. So I turn it, make sure it can't turn too much and that it's locked in. You then put this tray for the chaff of the bean. That will be all chaff and husk. What you do is slide this in, but you might have to shift it around to get it to go all the way in for this door to close. There's several ways to do this. I do the programmed method, which is easiest in my opinion. And that is to press one, for one pound. P1 is the program I want. And then start. In the program mode, there's several modes. P1, P2, P1, P2, P3, P4, P5. And it'll show you the heat curve for the percentage of power or heat. I'm using P1, which is go straight to the highest temperature. But when you get more into the types of beans and what what's best for those beans, you can learn how to use these other programs. So it goes for 18 minutes, but as a safety feature, at 75% of the way through, it will blink for 30 seconds. And if you're not standing here to push start, it will turn off automatically because it wants to avoid a fire. I uh, create a timer uh, to be able to be here at that time. It'll start blinking at four and a half minutes and you press start. It'll go for the next four and a half minutes and you can add three minute increments by pressing C. And I press several three increment, three minute increments because in this case, I have more than a pound in there. I have a pound and a half. Even if I had a pound, I would press that three more minutes several times. Because on this programmed mode, it brings the temperature up to a certain point. Here's your temperature at the wall, 129 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's your temperature in the chamber, 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're listening for cracks, almost like Rice Krispies. But the first set of it's called the first crack. When that happens, they'll be farther apart and the bean will begin to go through its process of roast. And then in about two to three minutes later, you'll have a second crack. You don't wanna go beyond that second crack. In fact, it's really best in a medium to dark roast to stop it right when it enters the second crack and you'll be, you'll be hearing that shortly. During that first crack is when the structure of the bean begins to change. You'll hear sporadic pops and cracks. 
This is when the sugars in the bean start to caramelize and water in the bean begins to turn to steam. The second crack, you will start to hear those same popping sounds, but more like Rice Krispies. When you pour milk on them, they'll be closer together. There'll be more of them. And if you let the roast get to the second crack, you never want to make it roast past 10 seconds into the second crack because it'll start to burn the bean. So you begin cooling it immediately by pressing the cool button, which is right there. Most excellent single origin beans and some blends exhibit their highest character if you stop the roast just prior to the second crack. Now right now it's getting down to that last minute of the first 18 minutes. I'm gonna add in three minutes by pressing C. See it's starting to blink. It'll turn off if I don't press C to add another three minutes. There we go, three minutes, 10 seconds actually. I'm gonna set my timer again for two minutes and 30 seconds so I can make sure I don't let it stop automatically because then you'll have to wait an hour to let it cool afterwards to restart it. Let's check on the beans for their color. They're getting a little browner and just a little bit of smoke. So they're doing well, but not done yet. Okay. Do you hear what I hear? got some smoke, you've got the beginning of the first crack. I'm gonna push C for three more minutes. But that's what it sounds like. That's the first crack. It goes for about 30 seconds. Then there's a pause and then the second crack starts. It's hard to see the beam because of the reflection of the metal grid in that cage there, and that cylinder. So. Doesn't smell great, doesn't smell bad. It's not a pleasant smell. It's pretty much through the first crack. When I stop it, I'm just gonna press cool and it's going to blow air across the bean and try to extract the smoke out of the chamber through the catalytic converter. Smoke suppression system, I could say. See how it's quiet? It's gonna automatically turn off in 55 seconds. I like it. I like my beans dark, so I don't. I've, I've under roasted them, and it's not a great flavor. So I think it's. With the amount of space between those pops, I cracks. I think it's still in residual. The first. Okay, we're just gonna let that turn off by itself then. I'm not gonna push cool. Nine, eight, seven, six. You get the idea. 
Smooth, smooth, smooth. Oh, it started to cool. That's cooling, that's what happens. So let's let it cool down a bit, naturally, by itself. So what I do is I take, I, I stop the machine and I pull out the cylinder, I bring it outside. And there's the chaff. Basically, since I'm outside, I just let it go like that. And I blow it out. See that? It's an easiest way to clean it. Then the cylinder, I want to shake off the chaff that's inside this basket. It's super hot, so you have to wear hot mitts, hot pads. And I do this for quite a while. And I'm going to show you the resulting chaff, so you don't want to do that um, in an area that's going to mess things up. So I'm gonna spread them out so you can see what they look like and see how we did. Okay, these beans are looking great. In fact, they're still warm, still very hot. The video shows some lighter than others, but to my naked eye, I can't see that dis differentiation. But they are so good. And in 36 to 48 hours, these things will be optimum for grinding. And you don't want to grind them too, you want to use a burr grinder. You don't want to grind it too powdery and over grind. A metal blade grinder can easily over grind the beans. You just want to use a burr grinder, which has like uh, discs that crush the bean, it drops down, so you don't do it again. The, the blade grinders tend to grind and then a grind again and then grind again until it gets acidic and really ruins the flavor of the bean. So you roast them this way is, is one of the ways. You can use a uh, hot air popcorn popper, which we did and used uh, for many years. And you can see my other YouTube video about the hot air popper called Coffee Roasting 101. This would be a 201 programmed coffee roasting. Hey, so I hope you liked the coffee roasting adventure. Hopefully uh, you'll try it, getting a Be More coffee roaster or try it with a hot air popper. It's not hard either. You just can't do as much at a time. Maybe a half a cup, a cup uh, of beans, but that's also really cool. Take care, thanks for watching.